Everyone, welcome to another Nerd Rage Renegades commentary track. And tonight, we're going to go a little more lighthearted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be weird, though. It's not necessarily not weird, though. It's going to get weird. It's going to get really weird. <laughs> so, <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> so, it's so, what weird we got. Coughing. I know. Already. I know. So what we have tonight is we're gonna we're gonna take a break from Red Brown Land, and we are going to we're gonna watch a made. This was actually a TV pilot that was made in the '80s based off of arguably one of the most popular Christmas toys of all time, Teddy Ruxpin. Yeah, this one's pretty short actually too. This is only a, this is only a forty-two minute. Forty-two minutes. And what's really interesting about this is I remember going to Errol's video and renting this on Betamax. I remember around the time that this came out and it was a little bit, I was a little bit too old for this, but I remember all my little cousins and all the kids in the family had these things. So, so this is the live action TV pilot for Teddy Ruxpin. So what you want to do is you want to go down to the description of this track. There you're going to find the link. For the movie, you're going to want to go there. You're going to want to zero it out. Okay? Just zero it out. So when you're ready to do that, Chief, are you ready? I am ready. In. Let's do this in three, two, one, click. Chief, come dream with me tonight. I will. Was this like a succubus? <laughs> this this is right after uh, Goldilocks broke in and uh, ate their porridge and shit. <laughs> my baby is starving because of that blonde bitch. Broke my chair, slept in my husband's bed. Look, she's even holding the Teddy Ruxpin toy. Uh, that one looks like a more advanced. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that really is the toy, though. I don't know. Did the arms move on that thing? No, no, just the uh, the the eyes and the mouth. I wonder if it's got a cassette in its back, like uh, like the toy did. <laughs> they recently re-released this toy too. It's at Wal it's, I saw it at Target for a hundred bucks. <laughs> wow! But now you Every, use like, your iPad. Now you use like your iPads and shit. Yeah. Grubby. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Yeah, you stupid dick. Octopede. <laughs> That's the cross between an octopus and a centipede. They fucked hard. How'd they start a fire? They're like made out of stuffing and stuff. <laughs> They're poisoned. <laughs> Oh, you don't want that. Go on, eat your roots. Eat, eat them up. You're, you're gonna trip balls, Teddy. Eat your roots now. That's that shit. friend that like brings you a casserole, and you're just like, oh, a casserole. Great. They're speaking words. <laughs> Midnight cowboy theme starts playing. Everybody's <laughs> talking at me. Teddy's like, you ever see him? You ever see one with this many legs? Look at it. Look at them legs. Look at it. Come on. He's cheap. One eyed Willy. That's not a map. That's a placemat from Shoney's. Trying to get you fucked up, Teddy, so I can no, go through I'm your pockets. Get rock. <laughs> why are we? Why are we be wearing of giant RVs? Who's the voice of Teddy Ruxpin? That sounds familiar. Oh, I forget.
Hey, Teddy, how come you're a bear and you wear clothes? Oh, God. Hopping anal plugs. Run, run. <laughs> the Langoliers are coming. Oh, my God. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. <laughs> That's all they do. Bow, 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 bow. Get to the stage door. Let's get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. It's David Crosby. Watch out. <laughs> oh, he's old man. There's an old man. Let me get my shotgun. Uh, Phil Barron was the voice of uh, Teddy Ruxpin. But it says Russie Taylor uh, did voices in some of the stories. Hmm. So Minnie Mouse. Oh, yeah. Th this isn't... Uh, th this, is, this is great. A big bear and a big old centipede just come on my land. and I, It's all good. Come on in my house. You two look delicious. Come on. If I were to cook and eat you, how would you do it? Just most, asking for a friend. It's the most trusting old man there is. Let's rob him blind, Grubby. <laughs> They're home invaders. Oh, great. It's funny games. Stop motion, stop motion, stop motion. Oh, my. What is this guy? Whoa. No, that Don't guy's, bother that guy's me. a famous voice. I've heard that guy's voice before. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Quit putting wood in your mouth. Wink, wink, nudge, who, nudge. Who keeps doing this to you? They talk? Yeah. Then I won't have to try to catch those Smurfs. This is the origin of the buttercreamers. <laughs> oh, when you're a buttercreamer, you're a buttercreamer for life. <laughs> He's an evil buttercreamer. Because they tweak on crystal meth all the time. And once I'm on the crystal meth, I not only tweak, but I twerk. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a red fluffy toilet <laughs> duh <laughs> hey hey bebop a little paranoid much Gla <laughs> loaf of bread, bottle of milk, stick of butter. <laughs> loaf of bread, bottle of milk, stick of butter. Oh, shooting a cannon at him. Oh, I'm sorry, I farted. Don't pay any attention to that whistling from a bomb coming at us. Although it has brought down my property value. <laughs> Ever since Saruman died and he moved into the Tower of Orthak. Well, on one side it says est and ends. I bet the other one, if, if we put it together, it says best friends. <laughs> Look. Oh, 
know. This was given out at the Moose Lodge last year. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's hard to find, but you know exactly where it is. Yeah, it's hard to find, but we have a map right to it. Yeah. Oh my Birds. god, Easter chickens. Hatchimals. Oh, not Hatchimals. Fucking Furbies. I'm gonna Shanghai you. Let's be pirates. You be Jabuti. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. Is that the dude that does uh, Goofy's voice now? Bill Farmer? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe. Kind of sounds be. like him. Let me see. Kind of stupid to make a ship, though. We could have just made something a lot lighter. No shit, Teddy Bear. I'm the one taking you there. Uh, No, it's Will Ryan does Grubby. Hmm. Let's see. Will Ryan. He's doing his best Where's goofy. Cleveland, Ohio. He was part of the comedic singing group Willio and Filio. Wow. Did he put the treasure map in the things? Oh, now? shit. Uh, damn. Stop putting logs in your mouth. He was in, he was the voice of Petrie in Land Before Time. Oh, he also did the voice of Pete on DuckTales. Ah. So he's done some Disney work. He was a uh, rock and roll on G.I. Joe. Damn, he's done a lot of stuff. Nah. Yeah, it's, I drew a straight line on it with an X, and it just says, go here. <laughs> It's like That's the mummy. Oh, yeah, I stuck it in an animal's mouth. Teddy, why did you give the man with Alzheimer's the map? <laughs> Seems pretty easy to get those things out of his mouth now. Teddy, do you ever notice you just stare blankly out into space? I'll just throw it over here. for not having a soul, Teddy. It's going to flip over and kill us all. Don't you hate it when your sack gets underneath you? Yeah, we're all going to die. Oh, the Furbies knew better. Oh, that scientist is an idiot. I don't understand physics at all. Oh, they got tisked by the Furbies. How'd they fix it? How'd they flip the boat back? Yeah, they had like three guys and it's a huge ship. Maybe they created a eccentric mechanism of pulleys and levers. Well, seeing as how my design was flawed, I was planning on crashing it right into a mountain. I mean, that's where we're going anyway. You...
Oh no! They're making an attempt on the lives of the Keebler elves! <laughs> How am I going to get my EL fudges now? Do they really need an, uh, an antagonist in this when they're just as deadly to themselves as the Bounders? A human! That's Minnie Mouse. Listen to her. That's Minnie Mouse. That's Minnie Mouse. There's no such thing as a dead-eyed teddy bear that talks either. Oh, shit. No, no. Kid show. Kid show. I do not want to think of Teddy Ruxpin in a wood spray getting it on. <laughs> that was never in the toy line. Oh, God, her name's Leo Lolita. Teddy yeah, Ruxpin get Mickey. by Nabokov. You're an inventor and you don't know about aerodynamics that you built an airship. Oh, shit, a school lesson. <laughs> Ow! Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Multiple choice, the answer is A. Mm. Ho! Hacksaw Jim Grubby! <laughs> USA! It just explodes now. I'm telling you, everybody's got to help this inventor with his fucking inventions. Yeah, what an inventor. Goodbye, little wood sprite. Thank you for a minute and a half of screen time. Thanks for fixing all of our shit. This is her just kicking her leg saying, okay, get me out of this fucking harness now. Yeah, I'm done. Come on, I'm going to go make more money at Disney. Flying over, over Arrakis. <laughs> Watch out for sandworms. The spice must flow. He who controls the spice. <laughs> We're gonna go see Baron Harkonnen. Look, it's got it's got Emperor Trump. <laughs> Maga. And look, it says, ha ha, this is a fake map. Wow, didn't we already we saw the map. Earlier? We're too stupid to go where we saw earlier to go. Yeah, didn't it say we were supposed to go to mountains, not a desert? That guy just cranks that thing the whole time by hand. Maybe we can find some coal in the desert. <laughs> great place to look for fuel. We're going to have to kill Grubby and burn him. See, he's flammable. Oh, I fell. It's coal. Let me hit it with a hammer a little bit. No, the kind of coal you shove up your ass. <laughs> hey, let's steal it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little tired, Teddy. I don't know if I got it in me. You know I'm retired, right? <laughs> I'm collecting never say that you think something lives in a cave because nine times out of ten guess what something lives in the cave 
Suddenly it turns into the descent. Oh no, shit, demons! Let's party! Oh god, it's those demons of Golgotha! <laughs> I am the great mighty poo, and I'm going to throw my shit at you. It's the hobbit. Take it to see the witch. Look, there's the great mighty poo. It's king shit. And rape the other two. You don't get any say. I'm not going to hear your story. You're fucked. Make the bear squeal like a piggy. Do as I say. <laughs> hey, wasn't Red Brown in a cage like this? Yeah. They're gonna get... <laughs> Teddy's going to die and they're going to leave a gimmick in there with his rotting corpse. Hello, strange person in a cage. We'll just make friends with you right away. No, you're not. You're Mr. Toad. You're Mr. Toad from Town Hall. From Toad Hall. <laughs> Look at him. It's Mr. Toad. He looks like Majin Buu. Tally ho! Tally ho! Goku put me in here. G Goku? Well, <laughs> Kami Hami Ha! Now, if only Hercule Satan was here, he'd show those mud bluffs. Ha, I'm Mr. Satan. <laughs> All right. Where are they know. been raping me all week? Look at this guy. A news reporter? Paparazzi. Arr, the light arg. I could help you, but nope. They could just reach out and unlatch that. It's grubby. They cooked him and ate him. <laughs> Soylent yellow is grubby. Cave in. Well, this is a weird way for it to end. Oh. What a timely earthquake. But Grubby, let's go. That was pretty anticlimactic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's fine. I'm pretty sure we ate him. Oh, are they going back? What the hell are they doing? They didn't show this plan or... <laughs> No, they just said, let's just go in there with lanterns. They're, they're blinded by the light, and there's Mr. Paparazzo. I could have freed you any time. I'm just an asshole. I made it extra gross because I'm a dick like that. Mm. 
And one for the road. Yeah, thanks for not helping, Dick. Yeah, thanks for staying in the ship, soldier. Well, I was doing all right. I was cooking food, you know. No, I'm not. I'm an artist formerly known as Prince. <laughs> and unless somebody changes the cassette tape in my back, this is all we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need a girl in this trip. This is a sausage fest. No, just keep going on this randomly scrolling background. <laughs> this is the weirdest BDSM I've ever seen. <laughs> 50 shades a, of tweeg <laughs> the horny little guy in martian manhunter <laughs> oh no the grimace is pissed off it's the grimace he likes shakes looks like he's masturbating can anything stop the Grimace? Nothing can stop the Grimace. Can't you see I'm taking a piss in the river? My water! Oh, God, he's puffing out his chest. Vamoose. Now make like a tree and get out of here. Hello. That's bullshit! Ransom money, blackmail over the kingdom. I mean, I could name many reasons why Forced you kidnap a princess. To the United Kingdom, I don't know. Lots Start the war, Troy. Just squeeze the water out of my fur. Which wizard? The gray? The brown? One of the blues? I quite forget their names. The undershot of his ass. Are they dating now? What's with the why is he got, <laughs> got his armor on him? Who rang that bell? Nobody sees the wizard. Not nobody, not know how. This isn't ours, motherfucker. Leave. Oh, look at that disturbing looking guy. Oh, God, it's Jonathan Winters. <laughs> There's the Grimace. I thought he had a Cubs W on his head. <laughs> Go, Cubbies. Yeah, you should have that through the door. Tell me something I don't know. All right, the forced fellatio will begin now. Yeah, I'll ask the mirror, but, you know, usually they only tell me who the fairest is.
Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Isn't he the same species? He looks just like him. He kind of does, yeah. He's like the Schmeagol to their hobbits. Yeah. <laughs> He's a store or whatever there. Water hobbit. I'm a fake. See this hat? I got it from Whataburger. I was a very good boy. Mm, okay. Oh, on my feet. All right, now, who wants to bet on black? We must contact Pazuzu. Your mother, your sister's in here with us, Prince Aaron. Would you like to leave a message? I'll see that she gets it. <laughs> your sister sucks cocks in hell. Let Jesus fuck you. <laughs> Damn it. Look at that shit. By the eye of Thundera. <laughs> Pay no attention to the the time markers on the film. Shut the fuck up, Scrubby. I'm trying to watch the movie. That's gonna gink our shit. <laughs> War time, nineteen forty one. The U.S. soldiers, our greatest fighting force, have have gone against the enemy in Eastern Europe. <laughs> Look, <laughs> the film nope. is obviously stopped. <laughs> Hand it over. That's not enough. One, two. Let me bite this one. He just ostracized that big pink guy. What? He <laughs> left him outside. Like a dog. He's a sentient being that can speak, but he had to stay outside. Oh, fluffer nutter. Let's go home. And I got no arms. <laughs> I don't remember their names. We're going to poison people with it. Slipping in under the cover of darkness, our boys infiltrate the enemy lines. Fucked up toilet rhino. Let's kill him. Break his neck. What would Red Brown do? Red Brown would definitely kill him. But he'd be like, all right, I'm going to kill him now. Everybody be quiet so I can kill him. <laughs> I'm sneaking up on him now. Uh, 
Oh, May. Hmm. It stinks in here. I fold. Oh, we oh. Her next I'm book. just a bird in a dilted cage. Tweety's my name, but I don't know my age. <laughs> Get him. That was your plan, that Ray. He's a violent motherfucker, man. That was your plan, Ray. Get her. <laughs> and you're a scientist? A fat beat. I have the help of these assholes here that I'm planning on killing on the way home. Oh, did I say that out loud? We kill them now. They won't ask for rewards. <laughs> here, put this on. It's Mordor. The, wait a minute. The, the, the real map or the fake map? Quick, drop the ring in. See, it does say best friends forever. Oh. Tony Stark's arc reactor. Touch nothing but the lamp. Now in a surprise twist, Grubby would be like, I don't see anything, Teddy. They're not pure of spirit. Oh, I got cruelty. Oh, God, this is the beginning of My Little Pony. Friendship is magic. Deviousness. <laughs> Theft. <laughs> Gold into buttermilk. But the Geiger counter is going crazy. Well, they're not pure of spirit, so how can he see it? Only the pure of spirit can find the treasure. He's not pure of spirit. <laughs> That's all they took? The little rocks? They yeah, take all the little rocks. They're over there. Shoot, oh, they, they got airplanes. They got fucking airplanes. Oh, you're fucked. They're going to kamikaze your ass. <laughs> With the Gatling guns. Oh, no, they're shooting padded arrows at us. <laughs> oh, they've tied up the propeller. <laughs> and look how far gone we were. Let's take out a few of them with us. Set the self-destruct. Come on! Teddy, you have and always shall be my friend. <laughs> on horrible green screen that thing's operational told you nothing can stop the grass he's going wild he's wild it's his game now uh -huh, I run this shit my game <laughs> what can you do what can you do
That's a little Ray Ray. Throw the pan at him. Teddy's been shot. <laughs> Well, any crash you can walk away from. Well, he's dead. He's dead. I don't even know who you are, big grimace guy. Oh. Make no mistake, Mama? the first Star Wars, you're not getting a medal. This guy's got a princess fetish. Yeah, he's going to steal her. It's pretty convenient that the treasure was right there with you. What an interesting plot development. It's throwing it at guys. Pride is a sin. Don't you remember the crystals you got? I'll put this one in the wank bank. <laughs> oh, geez. Darl. Those shiny rocks? No. <laughs> we were pretty stupid to leave it there. Will we get an explanation of how important they are? <laughs> no? Okay. Well, will we ever know who left the message? It was the Grey Elves. Ha ha ha. The villain wins for once. Yeah, yes. Ha ha ha. Because it's not real. He's going to throw himself off the tower. <laughs> Teddy's got his bling on. <laughs> yeah! What? Flavor Flav! No, well, he just... on our ship. Just like you couldn't go into the wizard's house, you can't go to the castle, Wooly. Stay there. Stay out there, Wooly. Stay. Stay. Don't Good you dog. dare follow us. Sit, boo boo. Stay away from it, Wooly. There's no place for the likes of you. We don't like pinkies around here. <laughs> and that's the end of that. Yeah. Really quick. I want to see a Tarantino's Teddy Ruxpin. Oh, yeah, definitely. So that was The Adventures of uh, Teddy Ruxpin, a uh, movie, a television pilot for uh, a live action show. Now, the show actually, they, they ended up creating an animated version because it was cheaper to make than a full live action series like this. That seems weird, though, because they already had the costumes and all that shit built. It seems like that they could have just carried on with a series with, with those costumes. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but they went on. I, I, I remember that. I barely remember that video. And I, I kind of, I thought I thought that the video was kind of marketed with the toy. It wasn't it like available to go along with the toy so you could watch with the, with the bear. And um, it, like I mean, that. it it came out a little bit afterwards um, from what I remember. Well, I knew uh, they had it was... it the, the bear came out first. Like the Teddy Ruxpin yeah. itself, and then came Grubby, and then like the big red toothy thing, and like I think they eventually had all the characters at some point you could get. 
Yeah, I, the, the the cartoon ran for 65 episodes. Um, now, I remember I had Teddy Ruxpin, and Grubby was uh, a character as well, and they would connect via, like, a link cable. Yeah. And that way, when you linked them together, um, Grubby would, uh, you know, say... Of course, he would speak his parts, and Teddy would speak his parts. Um, but it was... The, I mean, it was a genius marketing thing. It, it was freaking genius. You had a, a bear that you just put a cassette tape in and it talked to you and told you stories and moved. And you could like, I remember going to Toys R Us and they would have like Teddy Ruxpin there and Grubby and they'd be actually be in the airship. And I, I don't know if you could buy the airship, but I remember them being in the airship. Yeah. It was, it yeah, was, I, that was, I thought it was a kind of a cool toy when it came out because it was kind of like, the, um, it was kind of like that first, it, it almost, it reminded me of Blade Runner, the, the toy maker in Blade Runner that had the little, bear that walked around and the, had yeah. the little robot stuff it was kind of like the first step to like robotic toys that actually were like self-aware and stuff it was kind of cool yeah so they had they had teddy and grubby they had puppets for like the little like uh, the furby type characters and woolly what's it and the bounders um yeah, they, they had, had a lot of the different characters at some point like yeah later on they had the character like all the characters but uh yeah i i just i don't think i've ever watched that thing all the way through there, there was. I had so many of the books. I think I still have some somewhere in like a box of probably up in the attic or something. But uh, there were stories about, uh, you know, there were there was regular stories. There was lullabies where they would just sing songs. There was like there was one I remember called Grundo Beach Party, <laughs> and it literally was like like beach songs. <laughs> it's like beach blanket bingo for teddy bears. Yeah, it was it was really really uh really interesting. Wasn't there, was uh, there eventually like a girl bear? Did they have another? Did they have no, 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 not no. But he's been like I said, he's been re-released numerous times. He's um he he's actually out right now at stores, uh, and he's pre-programmed with with stories, and you can purchase more on for mobile apps. So yeah, that, now it's he, not like tape though. Now it's like more. It's probably way more advanced digital. and cooler. Obviously. Yeah, it's digital now. Um, but that was Teddy Ruxpin. That was the adventures of Teddy Ruxpin. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you uh, a little short this week, a little, a little short for you, a little bonus yeah. short to go along with the uh, strike it's, commando that comes out this week. It's, it's one of those, Hey, did this actually, was this actually a real thing? Well, yes, it was. So it thank, <laughs> thank you for, for joining us. If you're, if you're on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that little bell. So, you know, whenever we drop a new audio track, Whenever we go live with some gameplay footage or whenever a new Nerd Rage Renegades podcast episode gets put up there on YouTube. So, everybody, we hope you have a re great rest of your night and good night. Good night, everybody.